this tutorial is to discuss the differences between brackets, phrases and parentheses. First brackets. Brackets are used to define mutable data types such as list or list comprehensions. For example, we create a list named L1 with three elements 10, 20 and 30. So during the creations, the elements are written within the brackets. So L1 equal to brackets 10, 20 and 30. Brackets can be used for indexing and lookup of list elements. So in the example, to change the second element of the list, we use a bracket. So L1 bracket 1 equal to 40. So to access an element, we have used the brackets and inside the brackets we have mentioned the index. So 1 indicates the second element. To look up the element of the list also we can use the brackets. To display the element, first element of the list L1, we have written L1 bracket. Within the bracket we have mentioned the index. 0 is the index for the first element. Brackets can be used to access the individual characters of a string or to form the string slicing. In this example, we have created a string named st with a string value Mumbai. To access the first character of the string, we use the brackets like st bracket 0. So 0 indicates the first character index. So if the second character to be displayed, we can write st bracket 1. For slicing the strings, we use the brackets and within the bracket, the starting and ending index to be slides to be mentioned. So in the example, we have written st bracket 1 colon 4. So it slides the first, second and third character from the string. So we get U, M, B from the Mumbai string. Braces. Curly braces are used in Python to define a set or dictionary. For example, to create a set with elements 10, 20 and 30, we have used the curly braces like S1 equal to curly braces 10, 20 and 30. So since we have used the curly braces, S1 will become a set. So in the example, we have used type of S1. So it is displaying as the class set. Similarly, curly braces can also be used for creating the dictionary. We will see an example to create a dictionary with two elements with keys, roll number and name. So D1 equal to curly braces. The first key is roll number and its value is 101. The second key is name and its value is written as XYZ. So since we have included the elements inside a curly braces with the key and its corresponding value, so D1 type is a dictionary. But to access an element or a value of a dictionary, we have to use the brackets. For example, to display the roll number of the dictionary, we use the bracket and within the bracket, we have to mention the key name. So D1 bracket, the name of the key is roll number. So it will display the roll number as 101. Parenthesis. Parenthesis can be used in Python to create immutable sequence data type tuple. For example, we want to create a tuple with elements 10, 20 and 30. So we have written as T1 equal to parenthesis. Inside the parenthesis, the elements are written. Parenthesis can also be used to specify the order of operations in expressions. For example, if you want to perform 4 plus, 2 plus 1 raised to 2. So 2 plus 1 is kept inside the parenthesis. If the parenthesis is not used, it will perform 1 raised to 2 before adding into 2. Parenthesis can be used to define the parameters of function definition and a function call. For example, we will see a function for multiplying two numbers. So here function name is mul. And the parameters for the function are a and b which is written inside the parenthesis. Similarly during the function call,
we call the function as mul within the parenthesis we have written the actual values as 2 and 3 so for passing the actual values also we use the parenthesis thank you for watching this video